Hi everyone, welcome to this talk. My name is Yu Chao from TU Dortmund. I'm going to introduce using a set of triangle inequalities to accelerate k means clustering. Here is the outline of this talk. Uh, first, I'll introduce why we are trying to accelerate k means. Next, I'll introduce the backbone of our algorithm. Elkins k-means. Then our new built ring bounds will be added to Elkins k-means. In the end, uh, our algorithm will be evaluated with Elkins k-means. So why clustering? Clustering is uh, one of the most popular machine learning techniques. Its purpose is to find uh, groupings over data points. So in theory, data points, they are in the same group, so have the similar properties. For example, we can use clustering to group documents into different categories. And K-means is a widely used clustering method. It aims to partition endpoints with D dimensions into K clusters. But it often requires a large amount of time on distance calculations. So one of ways to accelerate exact chemist clustering is to keep bounds to reduce calculations. And here is a very simple example of chemist clustering. Given a set of data points, we initialize K centers like C1 and C2. And then uh, each point will calculate distances to each center, like uh, x to c1 and x to c2. Finally, uh, x will be assigned to its closest center, uh, c1, and cluster c1 will be built like this. And after all points are assigned to their closest centers, Mean centers will be recalculated again, like uh, C1 is updated to C1 prime and C2 to C2 prime. Uh, repeat these procedures until convergence. So this is original Lloyd k-means. It requires a large amount of time on distance calculations from each point to each center. To reduce these calculations, Elkins k-means optimized k-means using triangle inequalities. As this example, we, we first calculate the distances from x to c1 and x to c2. So x c1, as this example, is closer and x is assigned to c1. At the next iteration, after recalculating, the means of centers. C1 will be moved to C1 prime and C2 moved to C2 prime. As standard k-means with the calculate distances from uh, x to C1 prime and x to C2 prime. But in Elkins k-means, as the previous iterations, uh, it has calculated uh, x C1 and xc2. So by storing these two distances and calculate the distance c1 to c1 prime and c2 to c2 prime. To build two triangles, that is uh, xc1 c1 prime, xc2 c2 prime. So uh, use xc1 plus c1 c1 prime as the upper bound of xc1 prime and xc2 minus c2 to c2 prime as the lower bound of xc2 prime. If the lower bound is larger than the upper bound, we know that xc2 prime is larger than xc1 prime. So by these bounds, we don't need to really calculate distances xc1 prime xc2 prime. 
This bonds requires space complexity, big O and K, but it avoids many distance calculations like uh, XC1 prime and XC2 prime. Here is the overview of Elkins K means. After initialization, Elkins K means firstly gets into filtering steps with triangle inequalities. If points are filtered by filtering step, the bounds will be updated according to center shift. Otherwise, uh, points will really be calculated to centers. After all points find the closest center, the calculated centers until convergence. And in our structure, we added additional filtering bounds into Elkins chemists, like filtering for clustering of points, filtering lower bounds. In our contributions, by these filtering bounds, uh, two optimized algorithms are built, filtering based Elkin, called it uh, FB Elkin, and memory optimized uh, Elkin, MO Elkin. In the following slides, I will introduce them one by one. In the filtering for clusters of points, for example, in cluster C1, after calculating all points to C1. In Elkins k-means, it will store every distance from uh, each point to center C1. However, in our filtering for clusters of points, we will uh, keep the maximum distance, xc1, and use uh, xc1 plus c1, c1 prime as the maximum upper bound of cluster C1. So if this maximum upper bound is smaller than the half of the distance, C1 prime to C2 prime, we know that all points in cluster C1 will not be assigned to C2. So we don't need to really compute distances from points to C1 prime and the points to C2 prime. By this bound, it keeps additional space complexity, big O, K, to avoid additional calculations, and also reduces memory consumptions by combining our following new low bounds. We also provide a new low bound which is effective if the shift of the center is significant. The lower bound of l might be inefficient. For example, in this case, the shift of C2, uh, C2 prime is very large. Lower bound of l is to use uh, XC2 minus uh, C2, C2 prime. And this value might be very small and negative. However, in our new low bound, we alleviate this problem by connecting C1 to C2 prime and use C1, C2 prime minus XC1 as the additional low bound of XC2 prime. Combining above introduced filtering methods, we create our filtering based Elkin chemists. FB Elkin. The additional overhead of this FB Elkin is to connecting C1 and C2 prime. And it requires overall big O K square D complexity, but it can reduce more distance calculations than Elkin, so achieve better speed us in high dimensional data sets. Another shortcoming of Elkin is that it keeps too many bounds for each point. For example, uh, Elkins k means stores lower bounds from uh, each point to each center. The space complexity is big O and K. 
So our another new low bound can improve this big O N K to a uh, big O N by storing another variable distance instead. At this example, we connect uh, C1 to C2 and use C1, C2 minus XC1 as the lower bound of XC2. So we don't need to start uh, XC2 in this case and use C1, C2 minus XC1 and minus C2, C2 prime as the lower bound of XC2 prime. So we replace uh, Elkins lower bound by computing distance C1, C2. Including these three bounds, uh, we create memory optimized Elkin, which can store less lower bounds to achieve less memory accuracy. In summary, we added three built-in bounds in Elkin k-means. FB Elkin is targeted to reduce more distance calculations than Elkin. And MO Elkin is to save uh, less bounds than Elkin. And here is the comparison of these three methods. In the worst case, they are in the same time complexity. However, FB Elkin uh, can avoid more distance calculations in three of them. So in fact, the average time complexity F of the Elkin uh, is less than others. And for space complexity, MO Elkin reduces NK to N by adding complexity of K square. At the evaluation, I will first introduce our setup. We use 11 real-world datasets from different repositories. We tested them over 50 times for each run. They are in the same initializations with k-means plus plus. Clustering results are same as expected. Um, we focus on running time of on high and low dimensional datasets and also tested them on large datasets with n equal to uh, 5 million and uh, 11 million. Here are our experiment results. Values in MOL Kern and the FBL Kern columns means the speed are normalized to Elkin k-means. So if value is larger than one, it means that it's faster than Elkin. In high dimension data set, most of the cases, uh, FB Elkin is faster than Elkin k-means because the cost of distance calculations in higher dimension data sets is very high and FB Elkin can reduce most than others. In low dimensional data sets, MO Elkin is usually faster than Elkin k means, and uh, our FB Elkin is slightly worse than Elkin k means. Because here the overhead of checking additional filtering bounds in FB Elkin is higher than the benefit of filtering unnecessary distance calculations. And with similar reasons, MOL Kern uh, requires less memory access to filtering bounds than others. We also evaluate the scalability of the proposed methods to see if we mitigate the shortcoming of Elkins chemists. Only large data sets in the results MOL Kern was still working in both data sets. However, Elkin k in and our FB Elkin uh, just run out of memory when k is equal to 500 in Sushi data sets and k are 
100 and 500 in Higgs data sets. In the conclusion, uh, k-means is a popular technique in data mining and machine learning. So accelerating k-means is a very important topic. In our paper, we create filtering based k-means which can achieve a better speed us in high dimensional data sets than Elkin k-means. And MOLKN can gradually improve scalability of Elkins k-means. In the future work, uh, we'll integrate our proposed methods into other bounds-based uh, k-means algorithms like uh, Inyang k-means and the fission-fusion k-means. Thank you for listening.